Hello, and welcome back to Dishonored. Yeah, we're pretty much winding down in here, but we must search the building, since, you know, we can. I don't know if it's safe for you to be here, so I'm going to put you right here just in case. Alright, let's see, did I, it's been a while since I played, so I think I avoided the readmes because I was running out of space on my hard drive. Ugh, sometimes I play these games way too long. I already read that. I already read that. Sokolov's Technologies and the New Age. Yeah, they're talking about the, uh, you know, the, the things that we've already disabled here. The High Overseer. We already read about their role. I guess we already read everything in here. And obviously I got the, um, the Lord Regent's confession, as it were, and it's ready to go right there, the broadcasting device. But we want to look around a little bit more. Oh, hey, how you doing? Who's that? Yeah, like that. Let's uh, reload that. He doesn't need to know we're here yet. Wait, wait, what? How am I over here? Oh, because I hit continue. Oh, there we go. I don't remember who I've taken out and who I haven't. Oh, crap. No, oh, open up. Oh, shit. Hi, how you doing? You go forward a little bit. There might be somebody in the other room. Thank you. Oh, God. Now I remember where we are. <laughs> it's been a while. Is there somebody in here? Crap. Yeah. Shit, here it comes. I don't want to deal with you. <laughs> yep, he's right there. Alright, I need to dump the body somewhere where he can't see it at least right away. That's right, you guys go over there. Dump you there, and then I can actually go in here. <sighs> Stay behind the piano. Or, you know, come right back around. What? Really? The fuck is up with this? Come here, asshole! Are oh, you being all slippery? Alright. Can I, can I dump you over here? Uh, this goes to the outside. I don't know if dumping you here would be a good idea. Shit. Well, that's shiny. I probably have to take that. Okay, I'm just gonna... He didn't see this, so I just leave his chair. So, we're good. We're good, right? Why do doors have to... <sighs> close through me? The Empress and the Empty Set. Empty set. Huh. Must be where she was painted. Uh, Corvo is not much of the piano player. Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Did we read this? We did not. Excerpt from a book on the late Empress. Many of those who lived through her reign will weep until the ends of their lives over the pale beauty with the piercing eyes and the foul end she met at the hands of her own twisted servant and protector. Lies! In her father's day, the Caldwins were thrust into the limelight despite their distance to the throne, when the former dynasty provided no heirs. A prosperous age followed the emperor, but his daughter would have different luck. During her short life, political intrigue and minor conflicts created cracks in the empire, undermining unity across the aisle. The Rat Plague, however, was a terror for which neither Empress Caldwin nor any other living being was prepared. I don't know about that. We've, um, harp. We've heard about, plate. <laughs> didn't finish what I'm saying. We've heard, um, that the plague might have been transplanted here. So somebody did that shit. All right, time to look around a little bit more. We've got one more, um, floor to go to, right? think we do. I don't know how to get up to it though. At least not offhand. Is there a stair over here or something? What's that? Oh! 
I did not know that you could actually hear the heartbeat, even if you didn't have the heart out. The fuck do I get through there? Well, there we go. Those are lights? I thought they were like magnifying glasses. Oh, there we go. Let's close that up so we can look around in here. Where eh. in? Cigarette case. Ooh. And. Uh, no. Oh, it's up there. Bone charm. There we go. Strong arms. Choking is faster. That actually might be very handy. Let's see here. I don't really care about that one. There we go. Something actually useful. What's this? Emily, my daughter, I know that one day you'll be grown up, and I wonder what you'll remember of these years. Will you recall your time as a child with fondness? Or were there too many caretakers, formal dinners and lessons about boring old history? Maybe the precious hours we spent together will shine brighter. Time captured now and then with your mother and with Corvo, who was always close to my heart. I hope the season of rats and plague will be nothing more than a passing shadow on your early memories. A crisis come and passed, weathered by your mother and her advisors. You'll sit on the throne someday, and will do well, I hope. It's a tricky life, full of responsibility and peril. It was not your choice to be the daughter of an empress. But I believe you'll rise to the challenge. Stay good-hearted, Emily. Keep drawing and telling stories. And only share your power with those you truly trust. I don't know if the end there meant she was having distrust for her advisors, but she also spoke fondly of her advisors weathering this with her early in, earlier in that. Yeah, she didn't want her daughter to have to go through all this. No mother really would. Um, do you have anything to say about this? Either the plague would have to take the entire no. city, or flames consume it. Dunwall Tower would be the last to fall. <sighs> Not if it, if the troubles came from the inside. Empress to Corvo. Corvo, I missed you while you've been away. If I could trust anyone else with these matters, I would gladly send them so you could remain close. But there's no one else. The plague has taken so many. The spy master was right to insist that I send you. When you are away, every day seems a heavy burden. Even simple tasks seem worrisome. Emily is difficult to manage, and the great troubles of the city, the conflict and the plague, all seem insurmountable. But when you are near, it is different. My heart is at peace. So it definitely seems like there was something between Corvo and the Empress. Uh, that kind of str strongly hints that um, Emily might be Corvo's daughter. Awkward. Just a little awkward. Ooh, hi, how are you doing? Um, put All right. All that sentimental drivel aside, we need to see if we can get up to the uh, roof. Uh, one in there. So they said there was a, uh, hello rats. So there was a safe house on the top of the tower that the regent would run to if there was any trouble. Obviously he ain't gonna do that now because I knocked him out. Maybe I can go up in one of the uh, side stairwells over here. But Is it just me? Oh, yeah, well, I can. Um, is it just me, or am I not making any noise when I run? Is that something I equipped last time? I can't even remember. Broadcasting devices up here. Oh, okay, here we go. Go to Dunwall Tower rooftop. Obviously, I don't need to come up here now, but I want to do it anyway. Oh, good. What are you doing? Nothing over here. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Huh? 
Hi, how you doing? You saw nothing. Hmm, there's a building right in the middle, but there's also stuff to the sides, it seems like. Alright, he's walking away. How you doing? Wow, that definitely shortens it. Fine, I got it. Um. Is there a tall boy inside the building? Well, I can't get up any higher. I can't get in through a window. Come here. I can't leave you here. I don't trust it. Maybe I can leave you all the way over there. Whoop! Right here. You stay right there, and don't let the rats bother you. You go away. Go away, rats! Oh, he's over there. Eh. Whoop! See, is there anything on this side? Whoop! Yeah, there's definitely a tall boy in there. Ooh, I can get in over here. Shit, right there. I think the floor might be a better place to be right now. Did he see me? Go in, go in. Go inside. There we go. Place to dump you. I don't think the tall boy can follow me in here. Is there nobody else in here? Takes the stuffs. Hey. Okay, fine. You stay right there. Let's see if there's anybody in here. Let's take down the shield. Okay, so I doubt there's going to be anybody coming in here. You have a nice nap. You some of my bitch. He's coming back around. He go get me. The hell? The hell would you see me from up there? There we go. Trials of aptitude. We already read that. Is that all that's in here? I guess this little hidey hole is in case everything goes loud and he freaking runs. You see nothing. <laughs> All right, I guess we're done here. Dad had some thud. Actually, I'll go over here. I could have stole his purse if he has one, but I don't know if he does, and I don't really care. I don't need the coin. I'm just gonna jump down here, and we're good. It's windy out there. I like it better inside, where the juicy gossip is. All right, let's go grab that and be on our way. We have accomplished everything we have set out to do. Take a shortcut. Whoop! If we can. And whoop! All right, Lord Regent. I guess you could just stay down there. I don't really need to bring you all the way up here. And I really wish you were conscious to hear this, but... Trust me, it's easier this way. All right, let's shove it in. If I explain, then you will see I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring prosperity to the city, to rid us of those scoundrels who waste their days in filth and drink without homes or occupations other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us toil. And it was a simple plan. Bring the disease-bearing rats from the Pandician continent and let them take care of the poor for us. The plan worked perfectly at first. But the rats, oh, it was as if they sought to undo me. They hid from the catchers and bred at sickening rate. Soon it didn't matter, rich, poor, all were falling sick. And then people began to ask 
questions. The Empress assigned me to investigate whether the rats had been imported by a foreign power. I knew the truth would come out eventually, so there was no other way than to be rid of her and take power myself. She had to die, you see. She had to die. Bringing about the death of an Empress is not an easy thing. But it gave me the chance to attack the plague with some real authority. Quarantines, deportation of the sick. But there's always some idiot woman searching for her wretched lost babe, or some sniveling workman searching for his missing wife. And then quarantine is broken. But you can see how my plan should have worked. Would have worked. If everyone had just followed orders. Really? Break.